Wow, the lighting is so bad in this room. Hello everybody, my name is Jenna. Welcome to a brand new vlog. I was gonna say reading vlog, but it's really not a reading vlog anymore, is it? So welcome to a brand new vlog. It is Saturday the 5th of March. It's just gone 12.25. I slept in a lot longer than I planned to. I literally set an alarm and slept through it because I pretty much don't sleep during the week, like at all. I average like four to five hours a night during the week. So on Saturdays, even if I, <laughs> even if I set an alarm, my body's like, screw you. <laughs> We're sleeping. I'm about to leave because I'm going to see Uncharted. I'm super excited about it. I finished Uncharted 4 this week. So I've been playing through the Uncharted games. I finished the fourth one this week. And honestly, it was so good. I like cried at the end of it, which I was not expecting, but it was amazing. And I loved it so much. However, I don't think that the movie is gonna be very good. I can't seem to find my jumper anywhere. It's really annoying. So that's what I'm doing. I'm going to see Uncharted. I'm super excited about it. I don't know where my jumper is. That's fine. We just won't wear one. But yeah, that's what we're doing. So we're gonna go to the cinema now and then pretty much as soon as we get home, we're gonna be streaming Horizon Forbidden West. So not a lot's gonna get done today, but I will update you on my uncharted thoughts later. seeing Uncharted. That is, I've seen a lot of video game adaptations in my time. Okay. Like a lot. And a lot of them, I haven't played the video games and I'm like, that's fine. Actually, how many video game adaptations have there been? I feel like there haven't been that many. Long story short, Uncharted was awful, <laughs> but it wasn't just awful in that it was a bad video game adaptation, but like it was a bad video game adaptation. Okay. It did not, it, it, it wasn't good. It also was just bad as a movie as a whole. The characters were awful and weren't fleshed out in the slightest. Like if I hadn't played the games, I wouldn't like Sully, like he just, he just, he didn't have a purpose. He didn't have a motivation. He didn't, he wasn't a character. He was like a cardboard cutout of a person. Same with Nate, same with Chloe. The vil, don't get me started on how pointless both of the villains were. Okay. Both of them were just pointless and Stupid. The entire film was predictable as fuck. They didn't do a particular thing. And oh my God, I didn't even think about this in the cinema, but they didn't do a particular thing that makes Uncharted Uncharted. There's this, there's this little thing that for the first three games they did. And I was like, holy shit, this is was like, this is what is making this series. And they didn't do that, which doesn't surprise me because it was very out of left field. I must admit when I was playing that first game and this particular thing happened, I was like, so it doesn't surprise me they didn't do it, but it still annoyed me. All of the like adventure stuff, you know, the puzzles and whatnot, they were too easy. Okay, they were too easy. I figured them out like five minutes before they did. And I was sitting in a chair <laughs> doing anything. I was sitting there and I was just like, Nate, do this. And then five minutes later, he'd be like, what if we do this? I'm like, Nate, I told you, you're an idiot. You should have done that five minutes ago. Mm -hmm. I just, the action sequences were really bad. There was one in particular that they ripped directly out of Uncharted 3 and it was horrible. They did not show nearly enough of Nate climbing stupid shit. Like, ugh, if you've ever played the game, you'll know he just climbs, but he climbs really badly. Or maybe that's just me who is terrible at climbing in video games. But anyway, it was bad. The plot was weak as hell and really stupid. They like, kind of adapted the plot of number four, but they took out all of the emotional aspects to it. The banter between Sully and Nate was forced and just felt more like it was banter between Tom Holland and Mark Wahlberg, neither of whom should be playing those roles because neither of them were actually good in the roles. Like Mark Wahlberg was just playing Mark Wahlberg. He wasn't playing Sully. Tom Holland got cast because they rightly assumed that he would bump up the box box office numbers because he's like all hot right now. And considering my cinema was full of teenage girls who were like practically drooling and would, 
you know, he had a lot of shirtless scenes and oh my God, they were sitting right next to me. And I was like, can you bitches please shut up? I liked exactly one thing in that movie. Literally just one moment, one. And people who haven't played the games won't even recognize what that moment was. But there was one moment that I was like, holy shit, this is hilarious. And apart from that, everything else was garbage. So please do yourself a favor, do not see Uncharted. It did not work as a video game adaptation. It didn't work as just a movie in general. It just, it didn't work. It was a bad movie. And if they get a sequel, I hate myself and I will end up going to see it again. But I say once more, not having Elena in this movie was a mistake. In all of the games, the relationship between Nate and Elena is in all the games and it builds from the first game onwards. Like they could could have introduced Elena and like built that on. From the post, like there was like a mid credit scene. From that, I think that's where they would want to introduce Elena if they got a sequel that like introduce her there. But I just, I hated it. I hated everything about it. I hated it so much. Oh my God, I can't begin to explain how much I hated that movie. Anyway, so I'm home now and it's just gone 3.20. So I was really quickly gonna pop on and do my budget because I didn't get a chance to do it last night because I was supervisoring out at Netball and it rained on us and that really sucked. Um, and obviously I slept in this morning so I didn't get a chance to do it before the movie. Well, actually I wanted to go to the movie. I wanted to go to the 10.30 session and I slept in. So I went to the 10.50 session instead. But I meant to be streaming at four. Tomorrow is gonna be like my big work and housework day, including going to the shops because I need to buy some food. Just wanted to get on here and tell you guys how much I fucking hated Uncharted. If any of you have seen the movie, please let me know what you thought down below. If you haven't seen the movie, please do yourself a favor and don't. Hello, happy Saturday. It's Saturday the 12th of March. It's just gone 2.30. I, unsurprisingly, because I always do, slept in because my sleep schedule is just non-existent and that really sucks, but I'm trying to work on it. It's just not really working well. As uh, so it's 2.30, I have so much on my to-do list, it's not even funny. My parents are coming around either tomorrow or Monday. We have a public holiday on Monday, so we have a long weekend, which is awesome. They're coming around to put up a mirror and to finally start putting up some of my pictures and stuff that I've got. So I'm looking forward to that, but it means that I have to clean the house. Well, I don't have to clean the house, but like my brain is like, people are coming over, you must clean. So that's what we're doing. So we've got multiple loads of laundry to do today. We have a bathroom to clean and a floor to vacuum and just all the really lame, boring stuff you have to do when you own in a house and live on your own. It's super depressing and I hate it. But also I have not been working basically at all on YouTube videos. So my <laughs> last vlog still hasn't gone up. I'm literally only just uploading it now. So that one's gonna go up today. And then the May highlights video will go up tomorrow. And then I have barely been doing anything VOD wise. I only have 30 days left of May videos and I've only done three June videos. So it's not really going well, but everything's gonna be fine. I'll get it all done. I know. I can. So my plan for the rest of the day, obviously, I need to get all of the house stuff done because that's really important to do. I'm hoping shouldn't take me more than an hour is, is what I'm hoping. Then I want to get... I've got another non-VOD video that's meant to be going up next weekend, but it's one that's really involved editing wise and I honestly just don't know if I can be bothered doing it today. So I might save that one to work on either tomorrow or Monday. And instead, I did have a plan this weekend where I wanted to take a bit of time to relax. So I finally finished playing Kingdom Hearts 3, the Rewind DLC. It was awful, 10 out of 10, do not recommend. But now I really wanna just sit down and smash out Kingdom Hearts Melody of Memory. I might do that once I finish cleaning everything up. I might do that for the rest of the day that I'm going out for dinner which I'm really looking forward to. And then coming home and probably gonna watch a movie. I really wanna watch The Adam Project, that new one that just came out on Netflix starring Ryan Reynolds. I really wanna watch that. So that's what I might do. But for now, I'm going to just do my three. No, I think I've got two loads of washing to do. And then this is a load that I did like three weeks ago that I just haven't put away yet, which truly is not surprising. Like, have you even really done washing if it then doesn't take three to five business days to be put away? Who knows? Hello, it has just gone 4.38 and I'm 
feeling very proud of myself. When I woke up today super late, which was unsurprising, I did not want to do anything. I was not in the mood. I felt awful, like not sick wise. I just like mentally was not prepared for the day, which was unsurprising because the day had already started like six hours ago and I had just slept through it. But I soldiered on. I have actually completed almost everything on my house to do list. So I did two loads of washing. I changed the towels in the bathroom. I vacuumed, I did the dishes. I, I did a lot of stuff today. I, in the middle of doing all that, I uploaded like the last vlog. I uploaded the May highlights video. I have exported two VODs and I'm uploading a VOD now and I've got stuff uploading to OneDrive. So all in all, I actually feel like I've had a really successful day. And the only thing left on my to-do list is I'm supposed to be editing next weekend's, oh my God, I can see you guys shaking. What is going on with my hand? Hello, stop shaking. Wow, all right, let's just swap hands, shall we? Note this one's doing it too. Okay, well, I'm sorry that you're shaky. I can't help it. Anyway, so the only thing left on the to-do list is to edit this um, video that's going up next Sunday. And I can't be bothered <laughs> only because it's such like an involved video and I'm still not 100% sure that I'm going to put it out anyway. I don't think I will put it out yet because I just don't have the mental capacity <laughs> to edit it. It's one of the lip sync videos and I just do not have the brain power. So I think I'm gonna shuffle some things around and put videos up at different times so that everything works out. I think that's what I'm gonna do. In fact, that is what I'm gonna do, which means now I could sit here and edit VODs, but like I said, I'm already feeling really proud of myself. It's a three day weekend, so I've still got two days and I really did wanna have kind of a half chill weekend. So I do actually think I'm gonna lay on the couch and play Kingdom Hearts Melody of Memory, which I'm super, super excited about. The only thing with Melody of Memory is when I normally, when I play videos, Video games and I'm not streaming them. I'll usually like watch TV or something while I'm doing it, but this one is a rhythm based game. So I sort of need to be able to hear what's going on on the screen. So not really sure what I'm gonna do about that yet, but I think that's what we're gonna do for the rest of the day. I'm going out for dinner, probably gonna watch a movie when I get home and yeah. I think that's today. I feel like I did actually get a lot of stuff done. So I'm happy to just sit and play a video game. So long as tomorrow I actually sit and get editing done, but we will see. Hello everyone, it is 9.50. Um, I just got home from dinner. It was really nice. Uh, we went to a cute little, it's like an American style restaurant. It was like, the food's all right. I had wedges which was really good. And then rainbow ice cream because you can never say no to rainbow ice cream, like seriously. But yes, it's almost 10 o'clock, but because like I said, my sleep schedule is so fucked up. <laughs> I'm not tired. So I'm about to play some more of Kingdom Hearts Melody of Memory. It's a rhythm game and I suck. I'm so bad at it, it's not even funny. But um, excitingly enough, my to-do list, I got pretty much well, you know what, I took that off because I decided I didn't want to do that anymore. So I did that, that, so I did that. I'm filming the vlog. So like, that's a lot of ticks. I'm really happy with that. Honestly, I'm really happy with today. Tomorrow, my parents are coming around. We're gonna put up the mirror and we're gonna put up some pictures in the house as well because I have been in my place for, God, three months now. That's insanity. Um, And it still doesn't really feel like home. So I wanna get some stuff on the walls and I want my dad to teach me how to put stuff on the walls so that when I get frames for a lot of the other prints that I've got, I can put those on the walls as well. I really want a gallery wall in my, in my study. That's something that's I've really wanted for a while and I need to redo the bookshelves and there's like a whole range of things that I need to do to make this place really feel like a home. I was meant to go out today and like buy a bunch of additional stuff that I needed, but unfortunately, because of all the bank issues that I had with my card having to be canceled and everything like that, so I wasn't able to go out and get any of that today, which sucks. So I'm thinking of doing that not next weekend, but maybe the weekend after. I think I might go and do that instead. And then the place will finally be not done. Like it's never gonna be done. I'm always gonna wanna make changes to it, but it will feel, I feel like it'll feel a little better. I'm gonna sit on the couch and play Melody of Memory and I guess I'll talk to you tomorrow. So I actually forgot to say as well, and honestly, <laughs> I'm surprised about the lighting in here because I turned out all the lights and this lamp, this one, doesn't currently have a light bulb in it because we bought a floor lamp for my place and then realized, oh crap, we need a PowerPoint that's behind the couch and it has to be a flat PowerPoint. So parents coming over tomorrow to help me move the couch so we can get that all sorted. But no, I also forgot to mention that I have been, so I have this thing where I go through stages with, with BookTube and um, I don't watch it all the time anymore, but I'm trying to get back into it because I really do love BookTube. And I also have this thing where I like to go back and watch a lot of BookTube videos that I, I missed out on, especially with some of my friends that I have on, on BookTube or people that I really are 
inspired by and look up to in regards to content and their channels. I like to get their watch time up. Um, YouTube has like these insane watch time stuff for uh, monetization and everything. So I like to get everybody's watch time up. Just gonna plug a, a booktube person here. But currently what I am watching, currently I've gone back in time two years ago and I am watching videos from a book fiend named Mel. I'll pop her in the description box below. She's awesome. She runs a readathon, the Roll Read readathon, which is currently happening. Although to be fair, by the time you see this video, that readathon will be over. She runs heaps and heaps of reading sprints on her channel with friends. So I'm currently getting her watch time up and I am watching a bunch of her older videos. Uh, the video I'm up to at the moment, I think is the November wrap up. So this is the the one that I'm currently watching from two years ago. And I just like to do this every now and then to get everybody's watch time up and because I always find it really fun to go back in time and see what booktube was doing, you know, two years ago, see what sort of books were hyped and everything. It's just something I really enjoy doing. So I'm gonna sit here, I'm gonna watch Mel, I'm gonna play Melody of Memory and it's gonna be a great evening. Honestly, the lighting in this house is ridiculous. Oh, it's gonna echo like crazy in here. So we'll talk quick, but hello. It's Sunday, 13th of March. It's just gone 12 o'clock and I'm about to leave to go and do my food shopping. There's not a lot on the list because I don't need a lot of food this week because I bought a lot last week. Oh, the joys of living alone. Like I'm making a pasta dish on Tuesday night and that'll last me like three days, so. And then my parents are coming around. They're gonna pop up a mirror for me and some uh, pictures up on the walls, which I'm super, super excited about. And then I don't know what my plan is for the rest of the day. I feel like I should probably edit. I was planning on editing yesterday, but now my friends and I, we're gonna go to the movies tomorrow to see was planning on editing tomorrow, sorry. But now my friends and I are gonna go to the movies. We're gonna go see Death on the Nile, the new Poirot film. And we're really, really excited about it. So I don't know now what my plan is. I feel like I should at least do some editing today and then spend the rest of the day playing Melody of Memory, which I played until 2.30, no, two o'clock last night is what time I went to bed. Cause I was playing Melody of Memory and I sucked at it. So I wanted to keep playing to get better. But that is the plan. I'm gonna head to the shops now and I don't really know what else to say. <laughs> Hello, it's 1.42. My parents were here and then they left because I got to go to Bunnings to get some stuff, but my dad had to come here first to see like what hooks he needed. But I'm so excited. I'm finally getting stuff off on the walls. There's my sister who says I was gonna, but I CBF now. Yeah, I feel that. <laughs> oh, look at this, it's so exciting. So this is Sherlock. I've had this since I was 21 and I've never been able to hang it anywhere because it wouldn't fit in my bedroom and that's all I had. I've got this Dalek, which I have had since I was 18. Same deal, it's never been able to go on the wall because I've never had anywhere to put it. I've got this picture of London, which same deal, never been able to put anywhere. Then I've got this mirror, which is going up on the wall because this new place didn't come with a, uh, like a floor length mirror. It's only got the mirror in the bathroom and that's not really enough. And then I've got a bunch of other stuff. So I've got this picture of me and Mickey when I was 10 and I've got another one of me and Mickey many, many years later. I think it was a good like 13 years later. So I wanna get that up. Then I've got this, which did used to be up in my bedroom. So I'm putting it up in my bedroom again. Then I've got some stuff that I wanna get up in the office on like a gallery wall, which I don't currently have stuff framed. And then I also have this, which is a um, world map. It's a scratcher map. And I'm gonna get this one framed without glass so I can actually, you know, scratch it. But I'm super excited to get that framed and then that's going above my bed. I don't know what it's like for any of you guys, but I've been in my place for three months now and it just hasn't really felt like home. And I think getting all this stuff up on the walls is gonna be really helpful. So my parents are going to Bunnings and then when they get back, we're gonna move the couch so we can get a plug in for the lamp. And then we're gonna put everything up on the wall and I'm super, super excited about it. Hello, it's almost four and my parents just left and look at all the things that my dad did, it's amazing. So finally on the wall, we have the Dalek from Doctor Who. I got this from my friend on my 18th birthday. So this guy has been sitting in a wardrobe for nearly 10 years and he's finally on the wall. Then we have Sir Sherlock. It's amazing. I've had this one since I was 21. So he's been in a wardrobe for approximately six years and I just love it so much. Like you can see me in it, hello, but like look at it. It's so good. Then I got a new power board for here. I just need to get something to hang up the cords and then I moved this so that this and the ladder shelf, sorry, the light's making it a bit difficult. They won't sit in quite so close together now. We also, this looks so tiny, but we also got this black and red London poster up, which I do 
do love. It's like a canvas, so it's like one of like those. But yes, we got that up in the hall. And then I don't think I ever told you guys what like uni I went to, but you know I'm in South Australia, so there's only three to choose from. I finally have my degree on the wall. It's been on the floor since I got it in 2019. I finally have a mirror. So like I said, this place um, didn't come with a mirror. So we bought, we were gonna buy just a standing mirror, but I decided I didn't like it. So we've got one on the wall instead, which I think looks so good. And last but not least, we also put up my Star Wars Episode 3 print. So you're not gonna be able to see it very well, like at all. But these are film cells from the third movie. So like, I still have a bunch more stuff that I wanna get up on the walls, but this is all we could do for now. Cause I need to get a bunch of stuff framed in order to put it on the walls. But my dad taught me how to do it as well. So I actually put the degree up myself <laughs> so that I can put the rest of the stuff up on my own. It was just, I needed to like do one and be taught how to do it to be able to put everything up. But I'm so happy about it. The place really is starting to feel like a home now and I'm just, I'm so excited. <laughs> but now uh, it's four o'clock. I'm not gonna get anything edited this weekend. It's gonna be a bit of a bust, but it'll be fine. I thought for sure I would get all the June stuff done before the May stuff finished premiering. I'm not and I'm okay with that. So I'm gonna lay on the couch and I'm going to play Melody of Memory because I'm obsessed with that game now. Hello, it is almost eight o'clock. I was gonna have a movie night tonight, but I, I still might because I have tomorrow off. But honestly, I just got back from dinner with my parents and my sister and her partner, I guess. And I kind of felt like editing. So we're gonna sit here and we're gonna see how much editing we can get done. Uh, I'm also gonna rewatch Stranger Things because it's Stranger Things and I am me. So I feel like that's just something that, you know, I do every now and then, especially because there are 11 weeks to go until season four drops. So pretty sure I'm gonna sit here. I'm gonna rewatch season one through three of Stranger Things and then when it's closer I'll probably do the same thing but for now I'm gonna sit here and that's what I'm gonna do. They also forgot I actually had a main channel video go up today so I actually need to go and do a little bit of promo for that which is a foreign concept I don't remember the last time I did that but that is gonna be my evening and I'm really excited about it. Hello. It's just gone 1045 and I got five videos edited. So I'm really happy about that. Well, five VODs edited. Um, and I was watching Stranger Things because I love Stranger Things. Oh, but now I think I am actually gonna, cause I've got tomorrow off. I think I am actually gonna sit on the couch and watch The Adam Project because I've heard so many good things about it and I love time travel and I think it has the potential to be a really good film. So that's what I'm gonna do. I feel like five VODs is pretty good. You know, it probably could be better, but whatever. I'm actually gonna wrap up the vlog now now. Wow. <laughs> because I think I've done two weekends already. I really need to keep track of that, but I think I've done two weekends already and I'm pretty happy with how this weekend turned out. You know, I got some really cool stuff done. Like you can see, I love that I've got stuff on the walls now. I just, I freaking love it. But thank you guys so much for tuning in. Uh, let me know in the comment section below how your weekends went. Were you productive? Were you happy? Were you chilled out? Did you read a lot? Did you watch a lot? Because I would absolutely love to know. If you like this video, be sure to give it a huge thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss a thing. Stay random. Bye.